Just spent the last five days volunteering at Women's Rubber Tramps on the Road in Quartzsite, Arizona, which is about an hour and 20 minutes north. And now I'm much closer to the Mexican border, which is very interesting. This ROR was put on by something called the HOWA, HAWA, Home on Wheels Alliance, and they help people who are nomads and who live on the road in vehicles. I think about 300 women or maybe 250 women at their camper vans and RVs and even some who live in their cars. Most of them were traveling alone and a lot of them were kind of nervous about going and they didn't know how to meet people, especially the first timers. I just went to the women's portion of the ROR, Rubber Tramps on the Road, but there's the men's portion which starts I think in a couple of days. So. How do you fit in when you feel like you don't belong, especially if you're someone like me, I'm a Canadian, I'm in America, and there are a lot, some differences, quite a few differences about what you should and should not say. This is my volunteer badge for the women's rubber tramps on the road. Hey, it's getting easier to say. And that's my first way to fit in if you, when you don't belong or you don't know anyone is to volunteer. I spent four mornings at the coffee slash snack shop for the volunteers. And that was also where the volunteers got their vests and their walkie talkies if they were supposed to have them. It's a great way not just to meet other volunteers, but also to uh, get to know who sort of the organizers are. If you can volunteer or participate in the event in some way, even better if you can get paid work with them, that's a great way to fit in because you have a job to do. You're not just sort of wandering around, should I do this or should I do that? But you can actually be really helpful. The second way to fit in is to talk to the animals. So I met Empress the pig. Oh God, last night she had a hard night and a hard morning. But most of the time, like 99% of the time, she's amazing to have. <laughs> Last night, I let her go with some kids, and she ended up running away from them and coming back to me. I think she lives in a camper van with this huge pig and the little dog. I also met Jack. His owner likes to dress him up in different hats and suits every time she takes him out somewhere. But it turned out to be a really good way to meet people when I wasn't volunteering because I would go up and say, hey, is that a pig? Or hey, is that a hat on your dog? And can I take a picture? You can bond with someone's animals or their children. You've made an immediate friend, not just with the animal, but also with the owner. The third way that I got to know people was by visiting the free table often. And it's actually not just one table, it's a, there's like seven different categories of tables out there and people brought their stuff in to give away. I got these at the free table. They're sorrel boots. They're beautiful. The tread is amazing. I also got a bag. See? Scarf. Some fantastic spray. It smells fantastic if you live in your van or if you can't get a shower the shampoo and body wash is you don't need water hat grapefruit free and my shirt this was free what I often did is ask for people's opinions so when I put this on I was like what do you think should I get it <laughs> is it worth the money and the same with the hat because there was no mirrors so I couldn't tell what it looked like so it was really good to have people there to point like and even to point stuff out I always said to the people around me I was like did you see these great often people look a little um, unapproachable or unfriendly especially in bigger cities in America but if you make the first move even just by saying hi the ice is broken and people are very friendly and kind especially if you are yourself friendly and kind. The fourth way that I often talk to people and make friends quite quickly when I'm out and about is to find common ground. Being at an event like the rubber tramps on the road, you're nomads, common ground is already built in. So all you have to do is talk about the thing that you're doing and you immediately have a connection. The fifth way that I found makes it really easy to fit in in places where I feel like I don't belong or I'm new or I'm all alone there 
is I'm really curious about people. I ask a lot of questions because I genuinely know that everyone's got an interesting story to tell. And most people really want to tell their story. Most people will talk your ear off if you're actually curious about them and just ask a couple of questions. So not only do I travel out here doing this, I also go and officiate weddings and I do baptisms and... You know, I do all kinds of stuff. I think you're That's awesome. what freedom is. And if you follow up later, so I've often met people, especially volunteering in the same place all the time. The same people keep coming back every morning for their volunteer shift. And so if I can remember something that they had told me the day before, conversation is much easier. People and like when you like them. And I genuinely really like people. And people pick up on that. So if you don't really like people, it is harder to fit in. But if you can find something that you are curious about in the person beside you and ask about it, good way to make conversation and fit in. The sixth way that I make connections, especially when I feel alone and I haven't talked to anyone for a day or two, because that happens when I'm on the road, is I'll ask for the time or I'll ask for directions. I'll just ask a simple, simple question that sometimes I even know the answer to already, but I just need to reach out and connect. And sometimes that builds into a bigger conversation. And uh, other times I just really feel happy knowing that if I ask that person for the time and then they tell it to me or they look at their phone or whatever it is a connection that somehow makes me feel less alone my biggest ask for help was when the mud flap was hanging off my rear tire and I just asked a guy at a gas station can you fix this for me because I don't know how and he did he actually had tools in his truck and he was able to you know fix the mud flap for me. that's one of my favorite ways is to ask someone to help me because not only do they want to help but it makes them feel good it makes them feel needed and special and like they are being helpful because they are being helpful. If you ask for help, you are actually giving them the opportunity to help you. It gives them the opportunity to feel good and it helps you guys have a connection. It works. Seventh way, my final tip is to offer help. So when I was at the uh, rubber tramps on the road, I was uh, talking to a friend and I happened to notice this older lady, she's tr struggling with a lawn chair, two, two dogs, leashes are all getting all tangled up and she's kind of limping along a little bit. I went up to her and I said, you know, can I take your lawn chair? And she was so grateful. And that's a great way to fit in is just to see, do you need to say, do you need help with that? If I've missed anything or if you have other ways to fit in when you feel like you don't belong, please share. I'd love to hear from you. Take good care of yourself, especially when you feel like you don't fit in because you are worth taking good care of. Mwah. I got this at the free table too. <laughs> My headband! <laughs> Freedom is the ability, for me, to stop being a human doing and be a human being. Amen to that. One thing I didn't do at the free table that I regret is share the dream I had. So the night before, I had dreamt that a woman, I was in the um, free tables, and a woman said, you know, there's a small bottle of clear lax, which I need to take for my guts. I have to have some every day. And so this lady in my dream at the free table said, there's a little bottle of clear lax over there. I know it's expensive, and so you should go get and some. The next day, I went to the free table, and there was a small bottle of clear lax. And I'm still a little freaked out about that dream because it was so real. Like I woke up and I was having my clear lax and I was like, I remember that there was a bottle waiting for me at the free table. And there was. It's a marvelous night for the moon dance with the stars of love in your side. Fantabulous night to make romance in the cover of October skies. The leaves on the trees they are falling to the sound of the breezes that blow. I'm trying to get to the calling of your heartstrings that play soft and low. You know the night, the night's magic seems to whisper and hush. 
And all the soft, soft, soft moonlight seems to shine on your blush. Could I just have one more dance with you, my love?